guys. I'm back. Maybe I'll finish it. Maybe I won't. Bad signal. Rooftop briefing. Almost feels like the good old days. <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, if you mean the city's crawling with masked lunatics and I'm not the commissioner, you're not far off the mark. That's not what I meant. Waller told me. Everything's got to go through her office now. Her uh, demotion's still tied up in paperwork. For once, the bureaucracy is working in my favor. Here. You're welcome. It's information on Harleen Quinzel from sealed records we dug up at the coroner's office. Thank you. Harleen Quinzel's father committed suicide after decades of struggling with mental illness. A uh, tough story. Quinzel was a devoted, successful doctor. But she couldn't save her. Must have been hard on her. The trauma of her father's death caused her breakdown. Turned her into the monster she is today. Now, I know what she's done, but... I can't help but feel a little sorry for her. It's gotta be rough on a person, going through all that. Yeah. The loss of a loved one can do that. I'd have to imagine it would. Gordon, you're dismissed. Uh -oh, this I'm is in still trouble my now. goddamn station house. He's forgetting I'm the one who can make or break his career right now. You only remind me every other minute. Clearly, I need a better method of getting the message across. That's enough, Waller. This is Jim's precinct. He's free to do as he pleases. Maybe you weren't paying attention, but this is my turf now. You're gonna push me too far, you hear me? Is that a threat? No, just God's honest truth. Something you wouldn't know a damn thing about. She's got some kind of leverage on you, doesn't she? If she's jammed you up somehow, just say the word. I'll appeal to the mayor, the governor, whatever it takes to get her off your back. I I'll do whatever I can to help you. She knows who I am, Jim. Oh, yeah? Well, so do I. You're Batman. That's all you ever have to be. That's all Gotham needs you to be. And you, if you're threatening to take that away, you should be ashamed of yourself. I don't want to hear it. Wow. <laughs> Gordon, tell Batman to get you're back, Bone. Come to Gotham, put the chains on Riddler and his gang, and get the hell out. I'm just saying, this city gets under your skin. Fast. Know what I mean? This laid plans and all that. You didn't choose this profession because it's easy. You do the job, or you don't. You're absolutely right. And I guess you locals see it differently. Agent of Esther. She fought to get on this assignment, you know? Wanted to see her old neighborhood. Wanted to see you. Her hometown hero. She wanted to impress you. She admires what you do for the people of this city. Your respect is important to her. She certainly succeeded on that front. Yeah, she wants her. One of my best. Still, wanting to impress you, it's the same thing that made her move too fast on Riddler. Now there's a lesson learned. So. Wayne Enterprises. Heard you made some new friends. Sorry. 
You're having me followed. It's my breakfast. Thanks to you. These very bad people have an EMP and a key that'll open every lock I would want to keep bolted shut. They're clearly planning something. The stakes are too high to leave anything to chance. Hey, you know, they, I actually considered... They wanted my new toy, okay? They can have... And they were frightening my co-workers. I'm not gonna hurt... They can have my new toy. They're asking you to infiltrate Riddler's gang. Before everything blew up, I knew I could count on you to get me close to them. Close to Bane. You're good at this. Seems like you've already won Harley Quinn's trust. Did you really think I'd let you tackle this group by yourself? Remember what kind of hand I'm holding, Bruce. Listen, Bruce. Get them away from their base of operations. Somewhere, they'll be exposed. When they're all together, out in the open, contact me. I'll be standing by, ready to ambush. We'll take them down when they're at their most vulnerable. Sound good? They'll never know what hit them. You need to involve Gordon. Don't tell me how to run my operation. His people know this city better than anyone. And they have their hands filled with other priorities right now. Batman. If it gets bad for you, just remember. We're out here. When you're in deep like this, you need friends. Let's say everything goes pear-shaped, and you get stuck in there longer than you'd like. Then what's right, what's wrong, it all gets blurry. And guess what? That's okay. Because you're going to have to do some blurry things that you are not proud of before this is done. You hear me? That's just how these kinds of operations go down. I created Batman to strike fear into criminals, not become one. Batman's not the one rubbing shoulders with you should think about which one Gotham really needs right now. Al, I'm in. Just don't stay embedded any longer than necessary. I'll be in and out, Alfred. Just long enough to figure out their plans. Good luck, Bruce. Stay safe. They don't check his ears. Hey now, welcome to our little hideaway. Home away from home, the end of the line. We're happy to have you. Thanks, John. Why am I handcuffed? You said you'd kill him after you got what you needed. So what? Ain't a girl allowed to change her mind? Could someone get me out of these handcuffs, please? <laughs> Tell me why I shouldn't kill you. Hey, please put me down. <laughs> Well, it seems like the Prince of Gotham is more like an empty suit. I bring us back the transport and the arms we require. You, you bring back a worthless aristocrat. We don't need his money. We have what we need to finish this, thanks to me. He ain't worthless, you overgrown bicep. You already got us an EMP device and Yeah, get you your keys. I'll bet you I can find a use for him. I do not care how much these two swoon over you, Wayne. We don't want you here, and we don't need you here. What are you thinking at? Whoopsie. What the hell? Shut up! Turn it off! Turn it off! 
Joker, you did that on purpose. Do something about this? I can't. You have me all tied up. What have you done? You need to uncuff me. Don't screw this up. You fool! I can turn it off. Make it stop, or I will seal you both in ice! I swear, if you don't get that electricity back on immediately, I'll send you to a frozen hell. Okay, let's follow with instructions on top. There you go. Let's back on. Nora's okay. Well, at least we know that it works. I must check on Nora. See how she is. I'm sure she's okay. You may have impressed these two. But I haven't made up my mind about crushing your skull. Fair yeah, enough. I love you too. Everyone back to work. Still a lot to get done. Who put you in charge? Somebody has to give the orders. That was a nice job before. Come on up to my office. Okay. Listen, Bruce, I just want to clear the air a little. You distanced yourself from us back at your office. I don't blame you after all the trouble I caused. You probably noticed I like to stir things up. It's a bad habit. And, well, it's made me more enemies than friends. I want to say I'm sorry for messing with your people. Your employees. I know they probably mean a lot to you. Thank you, Harley. Your apology means a lot. Really? You probably think I'm a terrible person, but I want you to understand. You've seen these animals I work with. In my business, you let your guard down for a second, you get torn to shreds. I can only imagine. If I'm always pushing buttons, it's to keep people off balance, you know? Keep them guessing my next move. Keep the real me hidden. I hope you ain't gonna judge me for it. To be honest, I've been at it so long I don't even notice I'm doing it. It's just a part of who I am. We all wear masks, Harley. You don't have to be a criminal for that. Even you? You ain't like these others. Bane's a powder keg, Freeze. <laughs> well, you saw Freeze. John's sweet, and believe me, he's got heaps of potential. But he's still a growing boy. You, though, you got your head screwed on right. You're reasonable. I can work with reasonable. We're pulling a job tonight. I okay. want you to be a part of it. Sure. You already showed you know how to use that EMP better than any of these other clowns. I want you to come with. I'm in. Just tell me what to do. That's what I wanted to hear. All will be revealed eventually. Using that EMP, though, that's gonna make tonight's job a whole lot less messy. And that no-neck asshat pain, he loves making a mess. <laughs> People getting killed just makes his day. If you're gonna come with, you gotta convince the others. Convince them? It's a real pain in the ass sometimes, but you need a majority opinion for anything big. And bringing you along, well, you got some persuading to do. Let me know how I can help. So what's the deal with Freeze? He's... 
unique. You mean why he's blue and wrapped up in machinery? Accident in the lab. He is the thing about Freeze. Only thing he gives two hoots about is his wife. He gave up everything to try and save her when she got sick. And I mean everything. Job, health, soul, the whole shebang. She's dead. Frozen stiff. Keeps her on ice in the next room while he searches for a cure. Ain't that just kooky? I mean, it explains why he flipped when the EMP went off. But seriously, who does that? I don't know. Sounds pretty romantic to me. Bruce, you big softy. I suppose you could see it that way. It's just made him into such an angry person. You know, it's tearing him up inside. Talking about his wife is the only way to get Freeze to pay attention to you. But watch yourself. His attention ain't always a good thing. I get the feeling Bane doesn't like me very much. That knucklehead respects strength and loyalty. Show him you got those, and he'll come around. He's a man's man. I don't got much time for all that burly machismo, but sit him down for a beer or something. He'll hear what you gotta say. He may kill you when you're done, but at least he'll listen. Listen, I know about your father about how you tried to help him. He was a lost cause that made himself a shotgun lunch. What's that got to do with the price of tea in China? You trying to get in my head, Brucey? Look, I lost my parents too. I know the story. Everyone in this goddamn town knows the story. It don't make you president of the Dead Parents Club. Hey, I'm just trying I to, to, to say I know how you feel. I wouldn't have had those records hidden. Which brings me to thinking, how the hell would you know a thing like that? You snooping around my private life? You got some inside track I don't know about. It wasn't exactly a secret in Arkham, Harley. People talk, especially when they're out of their minds on meds. That's right. Your stint in the loony bin. Still friends? Yeah, still friends. To be honest, I'm impressed you found that out. Just don't bring it up again. Okay, sorry. Time to make new friends with popsicle and muscles. <laughs> here hey buddy it's always so good to see you nice room where are you wilcher always good to see you john 
I've been wanting to say, Bruce. Thanks for helping me out before and your office and uh, making me look good. I actually thought you'd be mad about what happened before with Wayne Enterprises. You know, Harley really seemed to be... Not at all. Harley and I talked and talked about how lame you are. <laughs> it was by far the longest we've ever talked without her losing interest. It was great. I should have known right when we pinky sweared that everything would work out great. Harley wants me to try to get in good with Bane and Freeze. I think you're well on your way to doing just that. I do. I've been doing, you know, what I can to uh, help, too. You didn't catch it? <laughs> it looked like Bane might kill you. I set off that EMP, you know, as a distraction. Thought it might give you a chance to show off your technical skills in front of Freeze. That's the only thing I think he really respects. That was intentional? <laughs> John, how did you manage to do that? No Bane was going to kill you? Seemed like a safe bet. No, no, Lucius would have put safeguards on the EMP to keep you from doing exactly what you did. Then I guess we both got really lucky. And wouldn't you know it, you nailed it. You already know I like you, Bruce. You better get cracking on getting those other guys to like you, too. Because I don't want to have to watch what happens if they don't. Prisca. Bane loves that beer. I bought some for when I need to talk to him. He's scarier than anybody in Arkham. Hey, I can get get I get, get, get muscles, some presents. What the heck? Let's send no to the picture. Try to get it anyway. <laughs> Did you have one here? Oh, that spot was for Batman. <laughs> you like Batman. <laughs> What's not to like? I only saw him for a second in Arkham, but... Oh man, I'd, I'd love to see him again. Oh, don't worry, we'll meet. I think she really brightens up the room. A thousand watt face. How'd you two meet? Same way you and I met. In Arkham. She found me at a dark time and gave me a reason to live out here and experience all this. I don't see how we aren't destined to be together. <laughs> well, she's supposed to be your toy. Make any sense. Your pawn. I don't know. I don't like the fact where it's the other way around where he's the toy and he's the pawn. Harley's not as vicious as, as he is to her. As he is to her. <sighs> hey, muscles! I got you your drink! Hoping to get another chance to speak with you. Thirsty work. My throat is dry. Fetch Wayne. Is 
Just thought you looked thirsty. Please, come. Ah, uh. Riddler, he bombed your building and killed your friend. Someone did that to me. I'd bomb their building, kill their friend. As Riddler's friend, I have to know, are you here for payback? Did you come for revenge? Answer me, or I will break you in half. Riddler is dead. Any revenge I wanted, I already got. It did not deserve such an end. But you have a point. In this line of work, one cannot be too careful. Trust has been the hardest thing to find. Especially after Riddler's death. We'll see if you can be trusted, Wayne. Very soon. Yeah, I love you too. I get a lot of love around here. A lot of love. 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 love. And now I see where Bane gets his fashion sense. <laughs> yeah, nice poster. <laughs> Hey guys, have you seen Popsicle? Gonna go see Popsicle? Okay, okay. Don't shoot. I'll keep moving. EMP shielding. This material will keep whatever it's insulating from being affected by the EMP blast. What the hell do you want? Bane doesn't want us talking to him. Get out of here. But I want to see Mr. Popsicle. Can I talk to um, the guy that's totally not our Schwarzenegger? He's not saying a bunch of ice puns. Well, there he is. Hey, Mr. O not Mr. Arnold. You say one ice pun, we're on the bad side. I hardly need with an EMP. I can't risk tampering with it. What are they planning to do? I don't have time to sort through all this. Not with them watching me. I heard about your wife, and I... Hear me out. I might be able to help. What do you mean? You'll answer me if you're smart, and understand the concept of self-preservation. I know pain. What it's like to lose a lot. I can't imagine anyone knowing anything like what I've experienced. I do know of your family tragedy. Perhaps you may know what it's like. What if you get caught? Sent to prison? What happens to your wife then? And what do you propose? I own technology companies, Victor. Big ones. You could house and protect her. Continue your research to cure her. Why? Why would you do this? Your wife deserves it, right? The innocent deserve our protection. You're right about that much. I'll talk to Bane. Make sure he thinks you're on the level. You have my word. I may have misjudged you. Wait! Good luck. Okay. He was with my crew at the police arsenal. Bane! The prisoner he was supposed to be guarding got away. And yet he doesn't have a scratch on him. This is crazy! 
I suspect we have a traitor among us. One begins to smell a rat after Riddler's murder and that prisoner getting away. Loyalty is all that we have. But there can be no trust unless I can believe that you are who you say you are and that you are really willing to do all that you claim. Only one of you walks out of here. You know me. The sooner one of you picks up that pipe and bashes the other's head, the sooner we get this over with. Fine. I'll prove it. what it takes to join our pact. The package is moving. What's going on? Did I convince John Muscles and Pop School? For. It's happening. Good. I'm ready. Not so fast, the money bags. You're not in the pact. Not yet. Not till everyone votes. What do you say, boys? Bruce Wayne. He in or out? The aristocrat is not afraid to dirty his hands. I say we add him to the pact. Yeah, I've convinced my souls. There may be more to Wayne than first appeared. You can be trusted. In. Yay! Bruce is strong and smart and handsome. Like, super handsome. It's nuts, you guys. And uh, what are you gay where now? Where am I going with this? Right, right. I vote in. Well, aren't you, Mr. Popular? We got a majority, folks. Bruce is in. You've earned a ticket to ride, pal. Make sure that EMP shield in is on those APCs. I don't need any surprises. Time to get that package. Remember, when we work together, no one can stop us. When we work together, the world yeah! can be ours! Let's go! Somebody grab that thing, it's important. Let's go hit him with the hind! Okay. Made popsicle and muscles like me, guys. Yahoo! <laughs> hey, I wasn't gonna hurt that guy too much. Okay, guys, that's it for right now. Bye-bye.